In this video, I'm going to quickly discuss the setup and configuration settings. In order to access the setup and configuration, go to the left navigation bar in your WordPress dashboard. Click Insta Member. Once the Insta Member plugin has been opened, go to the left navigation bar and click on Setup and Configuration. Under the basic configuration, the first thing you want to do is input your business name. The next thing you want to do is to add your business address. Under the membership configuration, select the currency that you're going to be using to sell your products. The next thing is the membership handler page. The membership handler page is the page that acts as a placeholder for login, registration, reset password, edit profile forms, and also for support desk. All necessary forms will be auto-generated by InstaMember as long as the handler page exists. Normally, InstaMember will auto-create the handler page upon your plugin activation, so you don't have to modify the setting. However, if there's no page selected for this setting, then please create a page with any title and blank content, and select that page for the membership handler page setting. Next is the membership home page setting. This setting is mandatory and you cannot leave it blank. Please create a new page in WordPress and select it for the membership home page. InstaMember automatically protects your membership home page from non-members, so they must first log in to view the page. You can put any content in the membership home page that you would like, but don't put direct links here because this page will be accessible to all members regardless of what they've purchased. You may want to put a welcome message or video here, some useful links, and perhaps some instructions on how to access your products and how to navigate your membership site. After logout URL, this is where you want to redirect your visitors after they've logged out from the membership area. Non-member redirect URL. By default, InstaMember will redirect your visitors that are trying to view a protected poster page to a login page if they're not already logged in. However, if you want to take them to a custom page, then you can enter the URL here. Otherwise, you can leave this blank. Admin Unlock Mode. If you turn this option on, then the WordPress administrators can view and access all of the protected pages, posts, and files without having to log in as a member. The Sync Members with WordPress option. If you turn this option on, InstaMember will also register your members, including your affiliates, as WordPress users too. Any member data updates applied to InstaMember will also be applied to your WordPress database and vice versa. This section is for setting up an affiliate program. Accepted Payout. This section is for deciding how you want to pay your affiliates. You have two options. One is with PayPal and the other is with Payza. Affiliate Cookie Lifetime. This allows you to set your cookie life in relation to the original website link click. Most affiliate generated sales don't happen at the first time of the click. So the longer you set this, the more affiliate friendly your program will be. Default Commission. This is where you add your default commission percentage for your affiliates. Minimum Payout. This is the minimum payout that your affiliates must earn in order to receive their commission. You can set this to zero if there's no minimum payout. Commission After Fees. If you turn this option on, then affiliate commissions will be calculated after transaction fees are applied. This setting will only be applied when you use PayPal or Payza to handle the payments for your purchased products. Affiliate Sign Up Options. Turning the first option on will allow visitors to sign up as affiliates only. No purchase is required to become an affiliate when this is activated. The next option, when turned on, gives your existing members a link so that they can activate their affiliate account. By turning the third option on, it gives you the ability to manually approve individuals for your affiliate program. Autoresponder integration. If this is turned on, you can set up a custom autoresponder for your affiliates. Licensing server configuration. Your licensing server secret is used to validate your customer's license key. Please read your manual for more information. Your licensing server URL. 
This is the API server URL of your licensing server. You'll need to validate your customer's license key. Please read the manual for more information. Advanced Configuration Account Sharing Prevention Account Sharing Prevention If an account is assessed for more than a set number of IP addresses within a set number of minutes, then InstaMember will do the following. You can decide to lock or disable the member account or notify an admin via email. Brute Force Login Limit This is how many incorrect login attempts are allowed before delay, and you control that number. When the limit is reached, the member will be asked to wait a certain amount of minutes before their next login attempt. Brute Force Login Delay This is how many minutes a member must wait before their next login attempt. Brute Force Login Recapture When this option is turned on, InstaMember will also show Recapture on the login form after two unsuccessful login attempts. In order to use this feature, you have to integrate InstaMember with Recapture first on the InstaMember Setup Configuration Integration. Once you're done, click Update Settings to save all of the new information. This concludes your initial setup and configuration.